Now here's a game that was really banking on alliteration to sell some copies. Snoopy's Silly Sports Spectacular. Sounds like a terrible jam band. Like another title I recently discussed, Kid Clown, the Snoopy game is actually a reskin of a different Disney title only released in Japan, Donald Duck. Apparently Capcom had the rights to all the Disney licenses in North America, while Kimco held them in Japan, so when they wanted to port these titles over to the NES, they had to make some adjustments to the characters, and now Donald is Snoopy. This game is pretty simple. Basically, Snoopy flies to Italy for some reason, and there he competes against his cousin Spike, who looks just like him, but with this awful crustache. There's five events to compete in, beginning with a trip to Mount Vesuvius and a good old fashioned sack race. Here you sack off against Spike by furiously mashing buttons, and if you avoid him and the easily circumvented manholes, you'll crush him handily. Even better, if you do absolutely nothing, Woodstock will push you like a vacuum cleaner all the way to the finish line. Oh yeah. Next is boot throwing at the Coliseum. You just rotate the d-pad and then press A to throw the boot. Time it right, and hopefully it'll get tossed far enough for Snoopy and Woodstock to show you a peace sign. I've tried a ton, and I can't get past 15 feet, but I don't know, that still seems to be far enough to win. If you screw up and only throw it straight up for a whopping zero feet, the next screen is Snoopy mooning you. Little fucker. Pogo in front of some random ruins is next, and it's basically a hurdles experiment with a pogo stick. The timing to get the jump to work is really wonky, and if you're like me, you'll only make it one out of every 10 jumps. Failing is totally worth it though, because watching Snoopy slam into the wall is surprisingly funny. I actually laughed so hard that it made my dog leave the room. Overboard is the strangest event, taking place in the Venice Canals. Snoopy and Spike are on the gondola facing each other, and whoever knocks the other one off wins. The controls are just your usual mash fest, and even when I feel like I'm whomping the shit out of this pubescent imposter, he'll hit me once and Snoopy gets soaked. Seriously, no matter how hard I try to do anything, it still seems completely random who wins or loses. Pile of Pizza is my favorite event, where you're in front of the Leaning Tower of Pisa, or Pizza, am I right? Trying to balance a bunch of tiny Zaz. You've got a time limit, and you need to get to the finish line as fast as possible without dropping any pies. It is incredibly hard to both move at a reasonable pace and keep your stack afloat. It's my favorite event because if you ignore the balancing act, you can just walk full speed and drop all the pieces except two, but I guess your time is so good that you pass the course anyway. Neat. But if you take the slow and steady approach and just barely nudge your way forward, you will run out of time. I guess two pizzas at the finish line are worth the 30 you spent all day not dropping. Last and most definitely least is the river jump, which takes place, hmm, I don't know where this is. Maybe someone can figure it out for me in the comments. This event, I just can't get a hold of the timing and controls of it. Every time I try to vault, I either fall flat on my face, run right into the river, and even when I occasionally launch the pole into the water, Snoopy gets stuck halfway and falls in anyway. After 700 tries, I finally, finally, inexplicably made it across, and that's it, it's official. I am a god. Honestly, this game isn't even a quick distraction. The total option that allows you to play all the events in a row is way flawed, because most of the events only give you one try, and on the pogo or river jump, you will fail before you have any idea what's going on. As such, you can play through the entire gauntlet of minigames in under a minute, without feeling like you actually competed even once. It's better to play each event on its own so you can just keep retrying, but then it's basically practice mode with no competition. You get scores for each trial, but no one else shows up on the scoreboard to challenge you, not even old Spike. So what's the fun of it? Comparing it back to the original Donald Duck game, both titles are completely identical in every way other than the sprite swap. I will say, now that I've played the OG version, some of the animations do make way more sense for Donald's personality than Snoopy's. Also, there's something equally terrible and hilarious about Donald pushing his girlfriend into the canals. See ya! The easiest comparison for Snoopy's Silly Sports Spectacular is other event-style games like Track and Field or Crash and the Boys Streak Challenge. The difference is that Track and Field has more events, smoother controls, more chances to compete, more replayability, 
and a way better two-player. Crash and the Boys has similar what buttons do I press and win kind of gameplay, but with a way, way better overall presentation. So basically, if you're ever curious about playing Snoopy's Silly Sports Spectacular, just play those titles instead and ask a friend to randomly press reset every 30 seconds or so. It's about the same experience. Hey y'all, if you're a fan of my channel and want to see more, I'm streaming a different game every Thursday here on YouTube at 9pm Eastern Time, so come and hang out. Also, if you want to see more videos and also support me personally, head on over to patreon.com slash where I'm making a bonus video every week. Otherwise, thanks for watching. Until next time.